facing south, that's the yeah. one. Yeah, that's it. So Here's the side one. I'm... So the side you're facing at, basically? Yeah. Endeavor and <laughs> yeah, it's about this big. Hey, Dirk, what would you like me to do with this no, uh, sword of sword. destiny? Sword. Just, uh, destiny. We're going to have to pick it up after we collect this instrument or before. So wherever we can put it down, we're just going to find it again later. Roger that. I'm going to give you front porch. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give you forward. So, even. but okay. Okay. we don't want to sit on this thing, so we don't want to put it here. Which cable is it? So it's going to be second from the right. Second from the right, the orange oily. But look, it just see here on your screen how it's going underneath of that oily. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that. Are we recovering the orange oily? No, we're recovering the sec. Oh, second from the sorry, the green cable. Second from the left. Second oh, from the okay. left. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you're right, Josh. We can't put this down here. Well, I can, can line up and you can reach out and just put it on the right side of the IP. Great. Yeah, that's fine. Then we so can we're do going it all in one spot. Second connector from the left. Yeah. yeah. I was looking at my map down here and it was opposite. Uh, we should come. Oh, no, you did. Never mind. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to need the usual spiel with the parking position and blah, blah, blah. Okay. As you said, it's in your front toolbox. Yeah. I'm going to make this more useful. You can use it now. I'm going to also make this a little less... Uh, in the way? In the way, yeah. What is all that stuff on the left? Look at that's a busy instrument platform. Yeah. There's an octopus. Where? Right bo above yeah, the connector. Yeah, he's going to fight us for sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh goodness. I've oh, yeah, I see. Look at that. Look at all these things on the side. It's Look at crazy. that fish, fish hanging out. out. Just Case tail stabbing. out. Stabbing. <laughs> okay, so first step is parking position? Parking position, yeah. Okay. Let's so we're do just uh, this out. toolbox. Yeah, I just use the clearing stick. <laughs> that octopus is watching you. Oh man, okay, stand by. Uh, can you please? I'm gonna look, do this oh, button first. It's gonna get a little angry when we take its the connector away. Yeah. I'm gonna scoop this front up, and then you can push it out. Just not that way, though. Into my knee. Oh, it's getting in position. Yeah, he's getting ready. <laughs> okay, uh, go for it. Sweet, dropping. Drop. Look at the other dropping, dropping. The other connectors have each have a fish go. on them too. Yeah. You, I think, are already cameraed back. Yep. Okay, is your uh, downlight on? Is that uh, all we got? Yep. Okay, can you open the iris, please, a bit? Thing I have this great coffee table right here for. <laughs> this morning, AJ kindly fixed all of the parking positions so they are pucks in and rechamfered everything. Oh well, busy. Yeah. Yeah, some some people actually like to do work. So. Yeah, I think it's the ONC that's people, it's not us, that's for sure. <laughs> Our 
goes that zip tie in the way again. Yep. Okay. Am I clear to unplug the thing? You are good to go. Okay. Here you go, Josh, just for you. Oh, no. I can't reach. <laughs> Come on, Trevor. Just get it. <laughs> Ready for a scooch? Ready for a scooch. Scooching. <coughs> oh, get off of there. Oh, that's a clean ADCP up top. Wow. That is one clean ADCP. Yeah, considering the rest of that. <laughs> <laughs> How long has this been here? Um, I think, I want to say 2017, okay. but I don't know. Okay, so a while. Forward view uh, on bubble. 2018, maybe? Man, current is tough. Yeah. Especially when I'm running the arm. Yeah, I think last time we replaced these. Whatever, uh, hopefully you can get it. <laughs> it's just after they were trolled, so they're all jumbled up, and we had to swap them out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, maybe I should do the right thing and give myself every advantage to the possibility of winning 50 bucks. Octopus doesn't seem too bothered by that. Oh. Wait till we put the dust cap on there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh he's talking oh. like that. I'm still going sideways, Josh. Hope you know. Oh no. Oh yeah. Buddy. Well, you got to get the dust cap on there, but yeah, yeah, you're yeah. winning. Fifty dollars. Well, thirty. Can we get a zoom there, please, Pete? No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, fine. You can pay me fifty bucks. <laughs> you want to tip down, and we can look at those tanks, Josh. Oh, you actually want to see what you want to see? Yeah, that'd mm -hmm. be nice. What do you uh, think, guys? Is looks that okay? Good. Yeah, that looks great. Do you want me to leave this in the porch? Well, we're gonna fly it free, so and then we're gonna have to put it under the cable. So I think the porch is fine, but we are gonna have to put it under that oily. Understood. So I'm gonna point. come off of this thing, put a dust cap on, and then we can move on with our lives. Okay. What do we got for toolboxage? Stubby? Oh, stubby buddy, yeah. Stubby buddy. Stubby buddy. I gotta say, Josh, I'm not hating this as much as I expected to. Yeah. It's like, it's not as bad no? as it could have been. Like, converted? No, no, no. Let's not be crazy. But in a pinch, why not? In a pinch? <laughs> like, why would you? What scenario? <laughs> 50 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's, uh, it's not as bad as I thought. It would be better if it was like four times the size, you know? Instead of like for children's hands. <laughs> Let me just drop it though. Oh no. Dust scoop, is that what you called this? <laughs> A pre dusted dust cap. How did that fall off? It was completely on top of it. Gravity? Yeah. Uh, I think that might have had something to do with it, yeah. <sighs> just had to, there I had to go and talk about how much fun I was having and how <laughs> easy this was and of course sewer myself yeah that's it that's got her okay maybe I'll try to smear this time instead Can give it a couple shakes oh, you you're betcha. way ahead of it you betcha you want to zoom in on that octopus before you pull like this in yeah no problem <laughs> Let me get a schmear done first, and I'll get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, when you're ready. Yeah. I love the stubbies. They just wiggle so funny. <sighs> I'm too choked up on it, I think. Hmm. 
Bummer. Do an open close real quick. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. Oh, that was too quick. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That nice. Was, that was <laughs> now do a kickflip. <laughs> Call that one the flapjack. Flap the flapjack? You kidding her? <laughs> the flip? All right, where's my, there's my arrows. Good. Okay. Nautilus down. Okay, uh, you can zoom on the octopus, please. <clears throat> is he in a good way? Is he, is that, are those? He are pooped. He pooped? Is that all? Okay, there we go. Wow. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Pooped. Oh, I see you now. Know, they just uh, can yeah. squish themselves however they like. That yeah, it's true. So okay, cool. sweet. Super uh, cuddled up there. And I think he's kind of not totally You're good in the there, way Pete. of this dust cap. He's not going to be in the way, but he's not going to like it. No, no, no. He's, he's not going to like it. No. It's going to bug him. Oh, yeah, I got to do this sideways. I forgot. With flare? Yeah, yeah. Give him a nudge before we pop it time. in. <laughs> yeah, do it. It's a little harder when it's all the way sideways. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, you know, i got to pay to play. Okay, dust oh, cap. Oh, didn't like that. Gangsta! <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Come wide, please. Thank you. Yeah, he's gone. 50 bucks. Okay. I'm gonna do this on here for now. And we can we can come back for the sword stick. Roger. Or would you rather take it now? Nope, I'm doing this right now. I think this is the dive objective, right? It is a higher priority than the stick, yeah. Okay, I am halted. So we have to fly this a bit, then pass it under, then fly it more? Yeah. Is it only underneath this one cable? It should only be under the one, yeah. Thank you. Here we go. <coughs> Hey, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Sorry now you're going to drag the cable into Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no. Stop going this way. <laughs> oh, you're going to get him again. No. No. It's like, get out of here, guys. It's like when you say goodbye to a friend and you both walk the same way. <laughs> still, still bye. <laughs> oh, oh, your car's this way, too? Oh. Oh, yeah. This well, is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot something inside. The no, you didn't. That oily goes no, towards the mini JB. Oh, oh see, yeah, he's still there. 50 meters away. What the hell? What's up there? I don't Do know you what's have the extension JB. ID of the oil? Yep, there he is. Yeah, so you're left. Four seven six four zero. Four seven. Okay. I'll wait to get that out. Six four. Sure. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's oh, yeah, not he's happy. Yeah, but he's going the correct way now. So yeah, good he's work, bud. crawling back. <laughs> No, I bet he's going to go for that. Uh, yeah. The you know he's going to go for that <laughs> bag. Sort of, yeah. The sort of destiny. Dude, the yeah. balloon. Yeah. Stop. He's like, I can blend in with this. He's like, oh, yeah. This oh, is yeah. just my color. It's <laughs> <laughs> just my color. Seems like it already kind of changed a little bit of color. Could just be the light. but. Yeah, well, they can change a lot. <laughs> is that species dependent for the home? Like, or can they all kind of change color? Um, they can all kind of change color. Zoom in, please, what video. What colors they can change to Good there. is species dependent. Thank you. So I've seen some, like, in like in South oh, Africa, on the rocks grip. that really changed a lot. Like oh, yeah, spots for sure. And spots no spots and texture. And yeah. yeah. So they the can change their texture and their skin. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Sure. Slick. Come wide, please. Oh, interesting. Our site layout's a little wrong. What do you want me to do with this, Dirk? Do you want me to Fletcher it again, or you uh, toss no, it over here? No, we can fly it over to the instrument, so just follow the cable. Okay. I'm going to just hold this Overall, it's going to be then. 25 meters. Bolt head. It's okay. It's fine, yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. It's a 25-meter cable, but our site layout says it's 39 meters away from the IP. Cool. All right. I'm not sure how that map works. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> one of the one best of those features of Hercules is it has on board a hydraulic cable stretcher. So <laughs> really, yeah, when you're not quite don't have quite enough length, you just stretch the cable a little bit, and it works great. Oh uh, yeah, well let's try it. Yeah, yeah. well Maybe. we don't need to. We're recovering. Shrinker. Maybe that's why this doesn't work anymore. Is this did this on Fletcher itself? What? Sure, looks like it. Looks like it popped out. The connector oh, out it of the does, hallway. Yep. Yeah, it does. Probably from the pass through, yeah. The tanks aren't seated. Good catch, Dirk. They definitely were. They were, yeah. 
I'm gonna come down on Delta. What's that thing? Feedback. Oh, it looked really lumpy. <laughs> it's what? really an octopus. Hey, this guy is a bead bag. Yeah, it's like <laughs> evolution. So many bead bags around. <laughs> What's this? What on is it? that? Yeah, that that's weird. That's goo. That's just goo. Oh, wow, sea goo? it's a lot of goo. Oh wow. So it's kind of pretty. Yeah, it looks like. Um, so Dirk, whoever gets to bring that up on deck is gonna have a real fun time. <laughs> so Dirk, can you confirm the next goals of the dive are throw this big yellow thing on the porch and recover? No. Hold on. Can I confirm that? You already we have the ADCD we should, on your porch, yeah. Yes, obviously. we should re-fletcher that so the hangs are in. Then we should absolutely. leave it and go get the stick of destiny. Then we should come back and get this thing. Yeah, Kay. those are the rest of the dive objectives. Sounds good. So why don't I leave this after I fletcher it again? Good thing I'm grabbed for a neat, easy fletchering. Rats. You could smear. You're, you're positioned well for a puck smear. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to do the signature Dave Wiggle on this. Oh, uh, the Dave Wiggle is my favorite. Just a good, it's a good trick. What yeah. is it? Well, if I show you, I'd have to kill you. I mean, <laughs> no, I. Or you could just do it half, half, half. Put it in. Yeah. Have it fall in the mud and then make a big mess. That's the Dave Wiggle. That's it. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's right there. Oh. Yeah. Dave's like, I will not have my name associated with that. <laughs> Kind of nonsense. That, that must be an old jellyfish or something. Yeah, that's, that's really <laughs> awesome and weird looking. Yeah. Mm. We got still of that. Well, if it is a jellyfish, maybe we should try to remove it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's gone. <laughs> no, miss again. Double whammy fail here. Because they can still sting you out. after they're dead. We could try. I don't, yeah, we could try a schmear there and see if it will just come off after we're done this. Mm -hmm. Done this messing around. Okay, I'm trying to schmear. I'm just not having a lot of luck with it. Uh, um, Can I get a half zoom, please, video? Good there. Thank you. This is not. That schmeared a bit. The Dave Wiggle. Oh, on schmear. Anybody know if we did a vertical survey on the way down? Uh, I've got it checked off here as having been done. Did oh, you guys Fabio, do? Fabio, did we ever? Yeah. <laughs> you don't okay. want. I'm assuming with all this gear on the on the front, you don't want another one. Uh, That's pretty. Well, if we're pretty occupied. Dead. No, stop. Stop with the yeah. talking to myself. Okay. So what did we do that Fabio asked if we did? A vertical Wait. transect. Water column. Sure did. For you, Fabio, anything. <laughs> Thank you. You're like, you. Yeah. It's kind of moving in and out a little bit, this park parking position. It almost looks like it's in again. And then it kind of looks like it's out again. In your home. Weird. In? Definitely in, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to chuck this out. Yeah, and if you can, after that. Halting. What do you want me to do? No, no, no. Finish this operation, and then there's Kay. before we take off, there's one yeah. other thing we should probably do. Goodbye. So if you look on the... Full wide, this, please. On the BPR frame there, can you see where the cable is? Can you put your manip just to... Pull that off in case, yeah, in case it does sting or the something thing? when it's on on the porch. I don't think I can reach, but I'll try. Might as well try it first. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that on the deck. No, we'll just have to sting the arm. Sting our robot friends. Yeah, go away. Well, that was effective. Wow, that worked well. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's totally worth it. Good suggestion, wow. Megan. Yeah. Great idea. How about the battery yeah, no service? I don't want anybody getting stung. It's not Arm pleasant. Secure. We haven't checked it Going off, back but to the thing are to you going to get anything from this? With all the uh, stuff, we still have yeah, this thing to right. put on the porch and then that beat bag sword. 
Well, and technically the Zeus can. Oh, we gotta take the bead bag out before we rack in. Yes, absolutely. But, <laughs> let's see. We can see. Um, so here's a thought too, Josh. I want to hear you think about the rigging of this. Let me. I'll if go we check put with the Megan, ADCP, but, yeah, yeah. but I don't I mean, the starboard that side That's of the porch it. it's not where the bead bag That's is. Fine. I'll go. Off. Cinch strap it down, then put that BPR over on the left side, the port side of the porch. We can put the Magnum on the BPR, and then we can have the cinch strap holding the ADCP. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. Back to Megan, the IP. Where's the IP? Back to the IP. Uh, you're going the right way. Okay. I think it's left. Don't follow that cable? What? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I would follow the cable. Okay. But which way? Yeah. Uh, to the east. Okay. She's a navigator. She probably knows more than me. That's where Confirmed. we just came from. Confirmed so. she knows more than me. <laughs> Great. Go back the way you came. That's like the thing I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen to her. Don't listen to me. I like how we've been picking this thing up and putting it down for about seven years. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many fish around this IP I'm right now. Change some things. I'm just Go ahead. Change, change some things. Just change some stuff. You know, mix mix it up a bit. Change everything. Yeah. Adjust, modify, tamper with. You know, those things. Cormany. What'd you call me? Swing and a miss. There we go. Okay. No octopus. Sort of destiny. Halted. Ready. Look at other goo, sea goo in the background there. Yep, lots of sea goo here. Uh, yeah. yeah, yuck. We're definitely going to have to do some serious hosing down of the vehicle. When we bring it back up. <laughs> As opposed to hilarious hosing down of the vehicle? Yeah, none of that. Let's just not even consider doing that. No frivolity. We only do serious work here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope these bags aren't impeding your vision at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hold them right there. That's what do you think, great. Fabio? Should I have these in front of the camera for another vertical video survey? <laughs> <laughs> balloons? Yeah. Party yeah, balloons. Again. Yes. You want to go a little bit more east. We're going here. What? Oh, you're right. Oh. We, that's where we came from. We were just backing up, aren't you? Yeah. All right. All right. I see the cable. Got it. We're almost there. Got like five more meters. There it is. Right Roger. behind the arm. So, so you can't see it at all. Because oh. of the balloons. <laughs> That star has a lot of arms. I guess you want the cable end on the far end? Yeah, I think so. So how do you want me to line up on this to pick that up? Whatever, I don't care. You don't care. <laughs> I'll just spin it. Okay. Uh, maybe it'll just come down and give you a little delta. Uh, little, little delta Reno. Little delta Little delta -ch. Could do this eight here. Southeast. Could it be the this and Hey back row. Can I grab this thing by their big red handles? Oh Dirk's not on comms. No? Hey. Can I grab this by the big red handles? Can you grab this by the big red handles? Uh, ideally, you grab it by the um, either by the fiberglass or by the bridle. Okay. What about the white clamps? Yeah, if you can grab it by the white clamps. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you.
Ready. Roger. Maybe I'll go stick this in the mud. Uh, which way is down? I can't tell. <sighs> this thing is the most annoying. <laughs> Ugh. Where are you, little stick? Is that the star you said has a bunch of arms, Megan? Oh, yeah. It looks like creepy hand on top. Kind of, from this angle. I have no <laughs> idea where the stick is, so I'm just going to wing it. Like, what do you do? Wing well, it. the stick is on the other side, yeah. Maybe, like, tilt down more. Ignore. Yeah, Ignore problems. Okay. Yeah, can you give me all camera downage? Um, I'm also going to do this button, That's fine. this button, and yeah. bucket. No worries, we're going to do a lot of transits on the okay. next one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, do you think if I ditch this, we'll still be able to stay down? Yeah. Okay, you're happy? Neat. That's not what I want. Hey, Dirk. You want to mark this on your little sight diagram as a, a speed bag? bag? Okay. So. Come on, don't do that. Okay. We got the uh, extra industrial tie wraps again. Okay. Change of plan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Change of plan. Change of plans. <laughs> Before you break that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, that's great. So it sounds like we have a bunch of extra time that we could use to do some surveying around. So before we do this, it would be better to leave the instruments on the ground and go do some benthic surveys. We'll leave the B RBR BPR on the port on the ground, and I'll we'll keep the ADCP keep on the, ADCP, the porch. The ADCP that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, because we can't I'll do it with the connector. Totally. Yep. Okay, so if we can kind of stage for doing some bottom surveys, like horizontal transect, horizontal okay. surveys. What do you want to call? Benthic visual surveys. All right, so Roger. we have to follow one of these. We um, can still strap that now. Crazy Yeah, plans. can I still strap this, Dirk? Is that uh, okay? Yeah, if you didn't need the strap for the other one. I do not need the strap for the other one. All right. Yes. Then I'll grab the bead bag and we'll be on our way. Vegas, That's smart, so Josh. Good one call. of those fancy squigglies. Oh, it's over there now, though. All right. Um, well, it seems that we're close to two, seven. In one. Come on. Maybe two. Stop. Which ones did you <laughs> two? Yeah. One, two, Fabio? Stop it. Num yeah. 
number two and three because there's like yeah. a it can come back to the same yeah, yeah same area yeah yeah that right. sounds good oh so two is this one is three is another leg yeah <laughs> just grab yeah. it okay yeah <laughs> i feel like we got the nylocks on here <laughs> oh my gosh all right now you we're probably under draw a line under here so ECP, i can see which it. is fine that's all good if i just put this up here in the meantime and if we want to do a second one we could probably do the five and the other one mm -hmm. that ends up right at the end, same spot <laughs> Got this dive been quite a bit faster than our time spy estimate. Yeah, well, you We're got just the, uh, you got the, you got us. You got, <laughs> you got a team. You got the L team. You got the L team. <laughs> L team? What is the L for? Well, it's not A or B, it's just another letter, you know? Well, L kind of feels like loser. Oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> hold on. Which I, oh. which I didn't think that's what it was for, that's why I wanted you to be able to fill in the blank what L was for. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, you raise a good point. <laughs> it's probably because most of the dive had a really good dive chief. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good, there are a lot of good dive chiefs around, so. There was one. Huh? <laughs> At least. <laughs> At least one. Yeah, I, I give, I'd give Dirk that. You know, Megan was great. There's a minimum of one. Ah, they're hot and cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's also true. Brr. Just like the pilots. But you know who's never hot and cold? Video. Video is always on. On point. I'm strapping. Yeah. Oh. I can do with one more, I think. Still yeah. a little, little yeah, loose. This cinch straps, they never go quite tight. Yeah, it's not tight yet. It's fine. We'll just keep going. Get in there. This pilot cam is aces, man. Ace. Singular? Oh, yeah. Double? I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Oh, that's, that's I think that's it. That's all. That's good work. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Now, where's that going? <laughs> Where do you want this, Dirk? We'll put it on the porch and put the <laughs> Where do I on want it? it? Not on a thruster? Yeah, or bag put is, it in the box. Bag is great. Oh, what if I? Okay. No, it's not going to work, is it? I'm going to spend 18 seconds trying this, and then. All right. It's still a little loose, though, Dirk. What do you think? What baby speed? Yeah. I think it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's loose, though. Yeah, but it can't go anywhere. They'd have to hop over the hook. Yeah. That's I mean, you can pull, give it another pull now that you've repositioned it. I feel like every time you reposition it, it's going to potentially get a little looser. Oh, no, that's yeah. fine. Just yeah. getting her. Oh, the current. Killing me. What? Oh, I had some there. I got some. Yeah, it just needs to find its a little happy place. All right, that's all she gets. I think, I think it's pretty tight. Okay. Gonna grab that bead bag, throw it on top of that Strap. thingy thingy. I put this down here. I should be able to reach it, right? It should. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Can I have camera down, please? What speed do we want to do these transects at? 0.3 knots. Okay. That, that's your sweet speed, uh, according to them. Well, well it's, it's it depends on what the video survey wants. It doesn't yeah. matter. Well, we wanted a 0.5, but he said that the vehicle couldn't go that, that fast with the that ship movement. That might have been a miscommunication. It depends on the ship's heading. 
and the yeah, weather, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. We can go 0.5 if that's what you would like. Okay. Oh, yeah, I get all tangled up. That's the best case scenario. Well, that cannot get under the bead bag. So I'm going to just stow Point. this. 1.3 meter altitude. Stand by, Fabio. We're going to get uh -huh. just doing a pilot change here, then we'll get all the details. Dave, arm is secure Roger. Uh, and stowed. Your camera is in, so when you're ready, we can rack that out and play yep. with your lights as science requests. And they're about ready to give you some specs on what they want to see for this video transect. All right, where are we going to start it? To begin um, with? We are going to Just move a range and bearing. Uh, to, to the start point, which is 50 meters to the east. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just like scoot on over past Atalanta, and that'll be our start point. Okay. The reason these lines are kind of at different directions is they're we're trying to match bathymetry as much as possible. Is that? Yeah, and also to stay in the area, right? So in theory, we like to do randomized uh, headings, but you know. We don't want to go kilometers away from the right. We yeah. don't want to add to um, so unless we're doing this last that we could. Whatever. Yeah, so someone would look at it some multi-beam and try to map at least yeah, yeah. constant depth along a certain path as best you could. Yeah, originally we had some transects right near to the camera platform, but they would only go 50 meters away. That was not really valuable in yeah. terms of mapping out potential other do heterogeneity. Mm -hmm. We're looking at heterogeneity on the seafloor and if the communities might change in space and time. Um, so here we are getting to do a transect at 0.3, 0.5 knots. Fabio, do you want me to set the camera at the same settings that Ed did on the vertical? Um, or do you want it different than that? We will want to, uh, well, get rid of the, the porch in the field of view eventually. Okay. Um, and the camera angle, similar. Yes. Uh, I don't. I don't want to back up at half a knot. Yes. We're starting the video transect right away. Yeah, and this is uh, a little more of a front porch than, yeah. So that'll be a little closer than it was, I think, for the vertical. Which transect ID is that? Thank you. Uh, I'll just check with Nav. I'll give you one second. Yeah, go ahead. So, do you have a, for doing one of these surveys, do you have a rough time estimate for how long that might take so I can update Allison? Um, so, let's see how long it is. Do you yeah, know no. roughly how long each one of these segments are? So, this one 
is 500, so they're 1,000 a kilometer. Should be around a kilometer each, yeah. Yeah, a kilometer and a half a knot. Kilometer and a half a knot, so just over, what's that? So one hour of transit an speed? Hour. One so hour I'm of transit speed, if so we, with the vessel move and whatnot. Totally, right? so probably two and a half all in, maybe mm -hmm. three? Three hours for one? I don't know. We're going to take... Uh, pretty shallow, right? So the... Or that's true. Vessel catches so up quick. Two to two and a half. We're doing one kilometer. Well, currently we're not moving at any speed, so we have ramp up time of the ship, yep. ramp down, okay. turn heading, ramp up, ramp down, and Easy. then uh, are we going to be right back at the start, or are we going to be at a different that location? Really It'll be a different location. But closer than a kilometer but from the start. Right. Okay, how far? Um, the end point... <coughs> Can I just ask a question quickly? Mm -hmm. What's the bearing of the line we're going to be flying? Great question. Um, because right now, if it's east, we're not going to be able to do it because of this current. Oh, no, uh, we're going northeast. Okay, let me set up on that. Um, but if, if we have four, time constraints, we can do nine, only 500 eight, meters. No, zero, four, one. Sorry, I was... We can do only a, a short meters. leg of 500 meters. Then Let's we can. have a quick look. I mean, we don't necessarily have huge time constraints on this one, so... Uh. Um, if there is a preferred the heading... The distance from the end uh, No, it's random, so... <laughs> we can, I mean... It's random, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they all kind of head east. Random it's or not, they all go yeah, yeah. east-west. Yeah. From the end to back to where we started. Roger. So now we're looking at 1,000... 2,200 meters? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's... Because a kilometer overall for one, and it ends 250 meters from the start. Oh, what's a half a... meters per second at half a knot is like... Two, I got two point something meters per second. I think two hours is probably very conservative. Didn't you say a thousand out, a thousand, and no, then two hundred? Five hundred. It's five hundred out, five hundred back, and okay. then the end point is two hundred and fifty meters from the start point. Okay. So you're doing like one point two five kilometers overall. Kay. Two hours tops. Two hours tops. Yeah. I would say I would say two hours to get back and be in a position to load these things back up. I think is probably pretty conservative and fine. So we have some scheduled to be a 12-hour dive, though, won't it? Yeah, three hours, up, three hours up bottom. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. <coughs> uh, Allison, did you hear that? Uh, maybe around three hours till we're off bottom. Okay. That'll put us nice for dinner recovery. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Okay. Can you move uh, 30 meters one two six? That's the start point. One two six. Sure. Yep. Yeah. On the move. Roger. Great. And that'll set us up perfectly because Adelanto will be right behind us. Yeah. Just like, poof. And, and as soon as we get there, we're allowed to start? Yep. Okay, let's ask the ship to change the heading now. Bridge nav. All right, um, can you start changing your heading? What are you, what are you thinking? You're not OXY right now, so you're limited to. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you have a preference uh, over there? Uh, slightly prefer him starboard, but whatever's easier for him. Yes, starboard is preferable for us. If you, yeah, great. That's a very funny thing because like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll take the wrap out later, but that's fine. If it's just as easy. Might as well. Yep, whichever one is preferable. If no one has a preference, someone's got to say something, right? <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. got to choose. If he gives me the option, I'll take it. Yep. If he doesn't, that's also fine. How, how far am I going to start the run? Um, you are 15 meters away. Okay. So you know what that means is uh, when he comes around, because my 6-8 wraps won't come out, I'm going to re-zero them. Okay. Which is usually is not something I do during a dive. That's usually like not what you do, <laughs> but because the counter's all weird. The counter doesn't count ship heading. It does not. Yeah.
Let me know when I should zoom in right. past the... Yeah, I still need to set the camera and all up yet, yeah, mate. Kay. And can you move 10 meters south? Uh, that's the issue you're going to run into with the line because of this current. Okay. It's going to push you. Eh, well, it's close enough to the start point. On and off. But I can Is come that down, okay? Lateral down south. Yeah, we can lateral down south. Then I we'll need to change officially. my heading anyway, don't I? Yeah, because we're going to be heading at 041. And when we start, Megan, could we please get a DVL reset? Once, sure thing. Once Dave's ready for it. And if you can just tell us exactly when we're starting so we can record that start time as well on of video. Of course. Yeah. Right. Got your fingers on it. Oh, oh, oh. There. there's a thing there. A little monument. A little monument. Neat. Where is yeah. that on our Sonar, uh, probably. It's not on the nav. Nope. Yeah, that's definitely not on the Do you map. want to fix? Yeah, can we get yeah, a fix I'm going to stick a thing here. Do you want me to get in over it? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. that'd be good to know where and how far from the northern IP or the closest other structure. Like what is it? Range and bearing. This is a... Um, it's toppled over. It's toppled over. These are kind of these utility tripods that we've used for um, hydrophones, for... Uh, we use them sometimes for aquadops. I don't know what we've else Rotary we Rotary sonars. Okay, anywhere there, Megan. All right, I'm going to reset taller, right? your DVL so yeah, I can get a better taller. fix. Yeah, go for it. But you, you, you just put a longer rod on it to make them taller. Oh, All right. right. Okay, got this. You got it? Yep. Cool. And back row, there might be a little bit of waiting here as the ship brings his head around before we can start moving. Yeah, interesting. I don't know what this is. But you say it's not on there, eh? Not on the diagram? Oh, oh what's old, that? Old tripod. 23 meters at 71. Like yeah, you can turn starboard. Yeah. All right, it's on here. Old monument. Oh, can yeah. you ask him to talk into the microphone or something? Yeah, he's... Can't not hear him. Yeah. That's not good. I got him cranked up as loud as oh, I yeah, can. Yeah, he's as loud as I can go. I'll turn him yeah. up a little bit. Thank you. Is that me? You can't hear? No, yeah, or you know, if you can speak into the mic a little bit more, we're having a hard time hearing you. It's got to be like an inch from your mouth, maybe inside your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor says that you got to have the microphone as close to your mouth as possible. It's close to what I said. <laughs> <laughs> There's somewhere about here to start then, yeah? Yeah, it's perfect. You're right on the spot. Right nice. by the old tribe. This is a start marker. Uh, it is a, <laughs> that's, that's the waypoint, Megan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're ready to go. You can't get any closer to that start. We don't have the lasers on, do we? Not we yet. Do not. Stand by. I can get them. Lasers on. Thanks, mate. Drift is unreal. Yeah. I like how this felt fish is sort of one fin in the mud. <laughs> yeah. A little dirt nap. Hmm. I thought the sable fish was going for it too. Yeah. Did you see that one earlier? Yeah. yeah that's cool. I forget what was the bearing for this move? This uh, uh, transect? Zero, uh, four, one. Zero, four, one. Thank you. Pretty much the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. If you could pick the perfect incorrect direction to do <laughs> one of these transects, this is it. They were all going east. They are all <laughs> going east in all some fashion, yeah. <laughs> there was one that went south. There, yeah, there was one that went south, but that was the furthest one away from us. We need to be going west. West, yeah. <laughs> well, none of them go west. It was randomized there, there Josh. <laughs> That's how it picks. Then your, the ROV can keep speed with the current. Yeah. And you see everything. You go just slightly quicker than that drift, and things come to you real slow in the camera. Mm-hmm. Here's an oceanography question. 
Do you think the current is almost always going the same direction in this site? Oh, no. No. Okay, so would that make us random if we went into the current? Would that be a random heading? If we can consider the current direction be, to be random, then to choose a bearing based on the current direction, then would that not be random? I don't, it hasn't come around much. It's come around maybe 40 degrees, 45 degrees, something like that, since I was since we were bringing the hook down. Right. But I don't know if you can have a random direction based off like a given input. The given input is random. Because that is your that is your seed. No, because your no, it's, seed. it's not cur it's not random though. Your current. It is random because we don't know what time of day it is. We can't you plan do the zero dive. research yet for in advance. And yeah. There's no way to predict the current, then it is random. Sure. Yes, exactly. I, if you, I if haven't done any research. you right now, random. Uh, totally, yeah. We are in the upper slope. They're now they're bi-directional normally. The mm. currents, right? They right. even go... They go this way, then that way. Yeah. And they don't swirl or nothing. Yeah. A note on the current from Ed on shore. He says the current will oscillate based on the tide and the up and down welling in the canyon. So we yep. can expect changes in currents. Sounds not random to me. <laughs> Rats. Well, in the axis, that's why I was asking even about more. But the time of day is random. Spring tides, it'll be howling like this. Mm, yeah. What heading is the ship coming around to? Um, I think he's coming around to uh, 045 or 047. Okay. We'll see. <coughs> Which is the um, direction the ship wants to face towards the north? The opposite. Yeah. yeah, we were. Yeah, we were. Yeah, the exact opposite of where we're going. Because oh. the current's going off to the west, which is yeah. why we want to go west. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Fabio. Hey. Does it? I guess this kind of goes towards what Trevor was saying. Is does it matter whether you do these in reverse or forward? Like the A, B, C or C, B, A, does that change anything? No, if they're, no, unless they're going uphill or downhill, which we don't want to do downhill, right? But th those are relatively flat terrain, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't so matter. The ship's already coming around. The ship yeah, doesn't yeah, want to yeah. stay still mm. in this heading. But if we're moving along, no problem. Okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Also, the weather's, you've seen the weather. Yeah, but you know. just if there is issues, we can always go and do one of these in reverse. Like, do a, do a relatively quick A to B, and then start at the end point of one, and then just go oh towards yeah. the west. Going downwind is going to be a hell of a lot faster down here. <laughs> Zero thrust, just go. Yeah. <laughs> Drift yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it, Dirk. Oh, I'm not worried. He's not worried. Put the brakes on it, they'll fly right by. <laughs> All right. Look at those fish here, they are cooking. Yeah. Look at the tails. It's us. Yeah, they're really fun to watch. Find Best like Atalanta view ever. I know. I find if they are really deep, they kind of look shark like too. Yes, yes. agreed. It just looks like there's a whole slew of drugs. Have you seen any halibut yet on this dive? Oh, I've seen, uh, no, I haven't seen any halibut. I've seen some other flounder, Floundery smaller stuff, flounder, yeah. but I haven't seen a halibut. I said they were flounder. I was shot yeah. down. They're like, nope, that's sole. Definitely sole. Oh. Like, I thought it was flounder. I thought sole, sole were was the flounder. tongue fish. <laughs> well, it depends on, like, their eye orientation. Yeah, I don't one. know that. Yeah. yeah but I, they're right-sided or left-sided. Oh. Yep. Did really? you know halibuts can be the other way? Yeah. One in a thousand one or, or yeah. one in ten thousand or whatever. They can be, their eyes always move, I'm going to make up a direction, their eyes always move left, for instance, but one in a thousand or something can be off to the right. It's like super rare and whatever the... Uh, yeah, the, the side, well, because like when they're, when they're larvae, when they're young, <laughs> they're, they're normal fish. And then when they become adults, they well, lay that, over on their side and their eyes migrate. Eyes migrate, but they, there you go. There's one right there's here. Like, Just come slithering in. Is that, you want an example? So is that a flounder <laughs> or a sole? Uh, 
To me, it's a sole. To it's me, it's a, a flounder. Yeah, it's a flounder. To me, it's Glyptocephalus. <laughs> I don't. We get. I don't know if the starry flounders are here, but they're very triangular in shape. But I think that's probably species specific. All right. This is the Dober sole. Dober sole. Microstomus pacificus. Okay, there you go. Yep. Sol. Oh, okay. Are we going? Ship's moving. I think so. All right, ready to start. Um, Did DVL reset? I can't tell. No, DVL is not reset yet. Okay. Are you out of auto XY? Peter, we want to tap in the zoom go. a couple of times. Yeah, so okay. here we have for a wide. DVL um, reset. Yep. And this, is a, all right. this is approximately where we were at on that vertical. Oh, not now. So yeah, hang on a minute. Just, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're going to have That's to give Adelanta a sec to get yeah. moving. Uh, and then we'll call it start. Thanks. All yours, Pete. Oh, I'm good. Um, Iris is within a few points of where we were at on that vertical, but then this is down below, so I don't know that that means anything. So, Fabio, does this look good? Uh, or do you want it further in? I was hoping a bit lower altitude. Can we go 1.3? I'm at 1.8 right now. But it's set for 1.3. It'll change as we start to move. Okay. Uh, Peter, yeah, let's tap uh, a, a bit more on the zoom. Okay. And then see how the when we get moving, yeah. we remove more the the foreground that's not illuminated. I can hire us up a little bit, but that doesn't buy you much. Okay, so the difference between flounder and sole is flounders are more rounded than sole. Yeah, flounder is rounder. That looked very flounder round to me. Flounder is rounder. <laughs> that looked very round to me, which is yes. why I thought it was flounder, but. I guess flounder's even rounder. Even rounder. It's like how round is round. I just, I clearly don't know. As we get going and down to where 1.3 is, let me know. Well, some of these soles look kind of round. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it does look a little bit elongate, like the sole of your foot. Is that what they call it, a sole? Common names are weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I would recommend, I'm not going to, once I get moving, I'll all try right. and dial it all in, and then once we're settled, I'll call start a transect and then go 500 meters, yeah? All right, yeah. And on the minute. move. Yeah. All right, moving off. Around the monument. Yeah. I'm going to put auto center on Herc. Peter, can we tap in the zoom a couple of times more, please? Yep. That was a couple. That's a couple? Yep. It's a lot of particles, too. They kind of... You see what I mean about the drift? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to be mega lateral on this transit. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that a hell of it? Well, that could looks be. Like, that looks like a starry flounder. Starry flounder. Oh, rounder. Looks like it feels oh, like we're going up. That's a monster halibut here. Some really big. Because I'm having the oh, lateral yeah. so hard to try and keep the line. Yeah, this is really, really difficult. 
It's alright, we'll get there, it just takes a bit of balance. Especially if you want to keep that head in. What speed is the ship moving at? Uh, half knot. Okay. Now I can pull some blacks out, but that hey, just for visibility uh, it doesn't do much either. Rick, you know who is in shore annotating biology? Sorry. Yes, that's Ed. Is Ed is annotating biology. Ed? From that team. Um, I haven't met yet, Ed yet. Nice to meet you, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I wonder if I should take over. Or let's see how it's doing. It is saying feel free to take over logging biology. Okay. I think the current is probably messing with our DVL. Yeah. Being that it's a no, ACP. All right, we're good to go. Uh, yeah, you can call that start the transect. Okay. Start a transect. Twenty one oh seven forty five. and then hands off the camera for me hands off the camera Hands off. <laughs> Now, um, do you guys want <coughs> me to extend this line a little bit longer so it's 500 meters? Yeah, that'll be good. All right. Bridge was thinking about saying something. Look at that puffy star. Yeah, he's real puffy. Ship up a little. 
Let's see if me having to tweak any speeds. How far has the vehicle gone on this survey? Um, since we uh, called the official start, yeah, we have gone 45 meters. Ooh. Roger. Almost 10% done. He's going to step out for a minute. Roger. Is there any way I can dial back the forwards just on the own? No, you would dial back the laterals as well. You can do that with joy gain. Yeah, I don't really want to tweak the lateral. <coughs> no, I understand, yeah. Yeah, because then you start drifting more. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> no, aside from matching, aside from like, Memorizing those percentages, re-stick locking, and yeah. you know, on and re-stick locking. That's the only way. Okay. But your joy gain dial will not affect your auto heading, auto altitude. Yeah. What time do we start this? What time do we officially start? 14 something. Yeah, 21.07. Thank you. No problem. That was uh, half an hour after we started oh, setting up for cute. it. Yeah. What kind is that one? I don't know. It was a cute one though. It might be a type of eel pout. Did you see that cool squid? I didn't see. They just fly by the front of the screen. Yeah. It was one of those ones that has a really like elongate body with the little flappy flappy fins. I'm sure that's really descriptive. <laughs> um, I can't remember what it's called.
let's see from our guide. Uh, yo, pause. From this area, we have Lisan Kelly's species of the eopod. Yeah, those ones are a lot smaller. This They're really like small and skinny, the li lion So that's not the one you yeah, saw? Yeah, no, it, the, the fish that we saw sitting on the ground no. is something different. It might not be an eel pout, uh, but I, I don't know what it. it is. Yeah, it's kind so of um, had like the tapering tail and large sort of round pectoral fins with like a, a stronger head. This one, this guy. Sitting, sitting on the ground there? Oh. Yeah, sitting on the ground. This it's guy. like deja vu, oh, it's in the have, exact actually. same spot. We're just yeah. playing 30 seconds of tape over yeah. and over again. <laughs> we have um, Big Fin ear pout. Oh yeah, that might be it. Licodus cortesianus. Oh yeah, that looks like the picture, exactly. Yeah, and this one sitting on the ground is probably the Lion Kelly's. Yeah. Yeah, 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 small one. Small one. How far have we gone on this transit? About 175. Ish. Sounds very. Right. 195. That was a really good guess. Mm -hmm. A really good count. Count. He's counting. Yeah. Counting meters. Dialing it in, in the nice. brain. The old brain mind, eh? Not familiar with that myself, but.
Cape Jack octopus. Or was that on the left? Yeah. Cool. What kind? Flapjack. Oh. They call them that because they, when they settle down, they kind of turn into pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate mm. relaxation. <laughs> just yep. flat. Just, just hey, like, <laughs> oh, that's how I feel sometimes. <laughs> They're my favorite. They're so cute. I think you have a lot of favorites. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's my favorite octopus. That makes room for a lot of favorites when it comes to sea life. It's really hard to pick favorites, you know? Like, you have a single favorite, you're like, this is my most favoritest thing. I can't do that. Like, they're all my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> when I was science lead on the Okeanos, they made a video about Chana Cops being my favorite, but <laughs> sort of like everything that we saw was my favorite. <laughs> But Chana Cups is definitely one of my favorite fishes. Where do you see those? Um, a bit deeper, usually on sea mounts. Um, they're, they're those round pink uh, angler fish family, or whatever you like to call them, coffin fish. Um, that live on the bottom and they got like the cutest little lure. It's like a little <laughs> pom pom and they're pink and round with <laughs> frowny mouth. Frowny mouth. Yeah, the frown is definitely what makes it cute. And it's got these big eyes. Whoa. And Whoa. when they swim, they're just, they're not very good at it. It's great. <laughs> starting to get pulled, I think. Yeah, I can't come down much more. Do you want to speed the ship up? 0.7. <coughs> let it catch up? Or will that just drop it? That will land further behind. Hard to say. At this at this shallow, you might get away with it. But, so uh... I can slow down a touch. Yeah, it might be best if you slow down a touch. I think you've got a little bit of allowable drift to your port too, so. We have a question. Uh, what's attracting all the fish or is it just that it's just dense of fish here? Well, the table fish gets attracted to light for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are exactly at their depth their uh, the depth range where they are the most abundant here mm -hmm. from here to the curve between here 400 meters down to 900 they're very abundant um, but they're known to be attracted by lights for sure yeah we had a couple of them trying to feed up by Atalanta yeah they suppose also some potential prey, mm -hmm. maybe. Definitely slowing down.
Oh my. Oh, Look goodness. Look at all those fish. I feel like they came in from nowhere. They're like, oh, hello. <laughs> And goodbye. It's in Hollywood Terrace. I'm super busy on our WhatsApp group chat. Oh, it's our deja vu fish again. Yeah, they're always facing the same way, huh? Yeah. Probably a good idea. Look at that one. Is that a chimera? Looks yeah, like. Hydrolagos. That's cool. We see them a lot at Strait of Georgia. Oh, they're cool.
How much further we have in our transect? Oh, I think about 160 to run. To the end, we've got about 75 meters. For the vehicle? Uh, to the end of the transect. Okay. For the That's ROV or for the ship? For oh. both, because you guys are almost neck and neck. Okay, cool. How many more, sorry? 75. 75. That was way less than I expected. Yeah. You're going real fast. So much exciting stuff. Yeah. Wow. Here's something exciting coming up 10 meters from us. Oh boy. You uh, you folks better be ready. Oh, I think it's a rock. <laughs> There's no way. It's not a rock? It's going to be something real cool. All right. I mean, rocks are pretty cool sometimes, but... A whale's cull, maybe. This is it coming up here. Oh boy. Oh boy. That rock? Guess who's right? Drop stone. <laughs> wow. Wow. -y. It's a rock. It's an old rock table. Or a piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool anatomy. Yeah. Got a bigger nugget coming up to port. We might miss it though. Might never even see it. Probably won't see it. Oh, look at it's so another one. It's just so spotty. Oh, yeah. I, I love those spotted chimeras. It's like a little deer with its fawn spots. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> octopus. See it, see it. Off to the right. Oh, nice. no, it's not. It's an enemy. I got excited for nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, it, it looks the right shape. <laughs> this anemone's never been seen by humans before, and now all it causes is disappointment. <laughs> what an existence. I just want it to be an octopus. <laughs> what an existence. Now. What's our next uh, direction? Our <coughs> next direction, we're going to have to turn around. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to go southwestish, 194. Okay. So, Megan, which line we did in the end? The number two? Number two, yeah. Okay, now we're doing seven? Uh, well, two is the whole line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, it just kind of goes out and comes back. I kind of got the lines all crossed, because they all crossed each other. It was hard to figure out which number was which. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll do line two, which goes out and then comes back. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be 200 meters from our start point. Okay. 250. Oh, seven. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And is the ship going to turn to starboard? Uh, sure. Okay. That's probably the shorter way around, right? Yeah, that'll be the shorter way around. <coughs> okay, neat.
Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, I do see it. The sonar. That's the Herc sonar there, right? Yes. What are you thinking? I don't know. Something's changed. Probably the settings on the sonar. No, it's like the two horns. Yeah, I don't know, probably just sonar settings. I mean, I, it's probably some artifact of light bar, but maybe we haven't seen it before because... Oh, you know what? Sonar tilt. We tilted it for the bubble cam. Oh, that's a different that's sonar. A different sonar. That one's different. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That one... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. How much farther to go there, Megan? Oh, we're almost there. Oh, we are done. And, oh, let's see when. Now. All and right. Transect. And nice transect. one. Let's get that ship turning. Bridge now. Yeah, can we come to a stop? Yep. Bless you. Thanks. And then our next move, I'm going to select a new point where we're going to head to so you can start changing your heading. So that's going to be Oh, 195, yeah, 196, yeah, round up. Going forward. Yes, we can do it now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, starboard side, yes, please. So we're flying the same heading, yeah, 196? Yep. So I have a end time of UTC 21, 40, 55 or earlier than that. That sounds right. Sounds like a great number. Sounds good. Yeah, I've got the same time for the survey end. Can we please have a DVL reset, Megan? Of course. You good to go on the auto XI there? Yep. All right. Reset. So we'll probably need to reset after we've finished our Heading change. Get the heading change done. What was that one? One nine six. Mhm. Neat. Thank you. He's coming all the way around again. Yeah. Yeah. Atlanta's set up holding position, a little low on the delta, but I'm obviously ahead of you. Yeah, I'm just gonna push ahead and come out from under him while Great. he does this turn. And uh, Josh is gonna jump in. Bye. What's the transect ID for the upcoming transect? Oh, it's still two. Still two, okay. Yeah, two is just kind of goes out and comes back. Oh, I see, thank you. You can come up higher for now, mate. I'll come through, I'll come through underneath you. Take it right up, 35, 37. 35 it is. Oh. Yeah, that was just the first 500 meter leg. So we'll just call it stop and start at the beginning of the end of each one so that you know you know where that those 500 meters chunks go because we have to do a lot of orientation to get turned around at this very acute angle. Could we get nitpicky and call that two-way? And 
the second, the next direction is 2B. 196, yeah. I think you said. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Yeah, 196. How's this going? Trickily. Trickily? Yeah, it's a bit tricky just trying to get a balance from not going ahead at too far of Adelanda. And not coming too far off the line, because but no matter what you it just doesn't have enough ass to lateral ah. against that current. Yeah. Whites trying to stay down and go ahead and keep a heading at the same time. What was that? Is bridge latched open? Yeah, I think uh, the bridge has their comm open. Oriel, your mic is open. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I, I, have they been piv pivoting on the stern? Yeah, usually, always. Yeah. Uh, well, there was an exclamation in Spanish, which probably meant that things weren't happening exactly uh, as intended. Roger. Please stand by while we complete your turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we'll probably do this the same way as the first one, where we let you get dialed in and then call official start. Yeah.
Go ahead. Okay, you ready to get going? Okay, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start moving. That should help everybody get go in the right direction. But we are on our correct heading. Yes, an HTG down here. Uh, he's heading, heading at his heading is two zero one. Two zero two. Do you want me to reset your DVL yeah. real quick? There we go. Yeah. Forward, yep. Uh, two zero zero. Did we start already? Yeah, um, we have started moving forward, but we are not yet moving. Okay. Yeah, on the transect. I'm working on the dive plan, on the next dive plan, so. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we will call it out when we're ready. Cool.
Are we ready? Okay, transect start now. Zoom and focus and iris are set to where they were before. And I have 21.55.55. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, it's a lot of old traps. Yeah. Danny, you were just level. Oh, you can't hear me yet. Check, check. See, you're just level with the rest of us when you're lower. Yeah. Yeah, yeah my knees were in my face. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I always find that funny when tall people try to drive my car. Yeah. Yeah, last time I drove it, I had to move every Ooh. single setting possible when it comes to driving. And when I get in, it's the steering wheel. I'm like, why is this steering wheel so he tall? Is. That's not a... It's always like this when it's here, but is that because he does it on his lap and he just sets it here? Or is it because he's got some post rat of this sideways works better? Oh, he was you know, doing it like that. Just like this? Uh-huh. Uh. You know, I'm always just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, so then he can like move all yeah. this. Well, sometimes Trevor puts it in his lap. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you put some in his lap. Did you, Depends on were the day. you, were you witness to the, uh... Yeah. He did all the push cores like that. Oh, he did? Yeah. Really challenging. What have we done with pistol grip mode? <laughs> It was actually quite impressive, you know? He's like, oh, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and the moment he said that, he dropped the, the, um, the dummy plug. 
I thought you were going to say you dropped a push core. No, no, we were we unplugged the the our the BPR or that thing, and then had to put the dust caps on. Extra steps. Extra steps. Oh, and there was an octopus, like right where we needed to unplug. Of course, you guys get the octopus yeah, that wants to octopus. fight. Yeah, the octopus. It was a little octopus. And uh, we took it out, and it just like curled up and was like, it, "It's fine. This is fine." <laughs> we we'll go to put the um, the dust cap on, and it wasn't fine anymore. <laughs> and then it swam away, right to where we needed to be to get the uh, the cable underneath the other cable, because they were they were laying on top of each other. Poor thing. We traumatized it. <laughs> Traumatize like, octopus. Yeah, we're like, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Excuse us. Oh, and then while we were taking the, the push cores, set down on the spot, it's like, oh, this looks good. And the skate was like, oh, hello. <laughs> Let's be friends. What you got there? It's all up in the business. <laughs> hey, Jake. Yeah. Is it possible to keep the vehicle 1.6 or lower? Yep. Okay, thanks. That's what we want. Let's see here, you think they're doing a dive log? Oh, they did. I'm bored, gauge check. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least they're honest. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's data for you if you want. Huh? There's data for you if you want. Data? Uh-huh. What kind of data? Uh, the blue data. Oh, that kind of data. It's good data. Interesting, the only one with like two light banks on, on Atalanta. It's just like, oh, we don't need light. What are those? Wormy things. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see them very well. a few of them, though. Yeah. Jake, are you flying oh. the transect manually? Uh, yeah. What's oh. that? It's a drop stone. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, auto XY is off. That makes no sense. Kind of. I have auto heading and auto depth. But yeah. I see that, but I mean, yeah. You've gone 140 meters of our 500.